So one of the things that you might be asked to do in the context of solving differential equations is simply verify that something is a solution. Okay? Now, when you're asked to verify a solution, um, this does not mean that you should go try to solve the differential equation, come up with a general solution, and then compare to the one that you're looking at and decide whether or not they agree. Um, verifying a solution means see if it fits the equation, right? Plug it into the equation and see if it works. So what we have to do for something like, say, this first example is we say, okay, there's y. All right, so what does y prime look like? So y prime, chain rule says that's going to be 2 times c times log x. Sorry, should have been 1 plus. I'll put the plus on the other side log x plus 1, derivative of the inside, we get 1 over x, right? Um, so we can do this. We can say, what is y prime, okay, plus y over x, right, minus the square root of y? Do I actually get 0? Well, let's see. So y prime, we get uh, 2c over x times the log of x plus 1, okay? y over x, we get c over x, right? Times 1 plus log x squared. And then we have to subtract off root y. So root y is going to be root c times 1 plus log x, okay? Assuming, assuming that you know, x is bigger than 1, so we can take the positive square root here, let's say. Uh, doesn't look promising, does it? Um, I can try to multiply everything out, see if things cancel, but I mean, things are not going to cancel. Right? I mean, certainly, there's that log x squared that comes out from this term, and there's, there's nothing here or there that's going to get rid of that for us, right? Um, this, no matter how hard you try, that's not going to simplify to give you zero. Seems like it's not going to work, right? So we try the next one. Okay. So for the next one, we say what's y prime? Y prime. Let's you know. Let's just put it all. Do it all once. Y prime. Y over x minus root y. We get so the derivative is going to be two times 1 over 3x plus c over root x, okay? And then I got to multiply by the derivative of the inside. 1 over 3 minus 1 half times c over x to the 3 halves. There's y prime. It's kind of unpleasant, right? Um, plus 1 over x times 1 third x plus c over root x, and we have to square that thing. And then we get to subtract off root y. So we uh, take the square root of the square. Again, we'll hope that things are positive, so there's no absolute value involved here. And we've got 1 third x plus c over root x. And that's quite the mess. And this time, I don't know, it's not so clear to me at the outset that that's uh, whether that's going to work or not. I think we've got to multiply things out. So let's start, let's start going through and we see what we get, right? This one is going to be, it's going to be a bit of effort. Okay, multiply out this binomial. 1 third x times a third. We get 1 over 9 times 2. We have 2 over 9x, okay? Um, here we're going to get uh, one third x, so we're going to get um, c. That's going to give me root x, so I have c over root x um, minus one third c over root x is what I'm going to get there. Two cancels with that two. All right, then here I get uh, one third c over root x, and finally. Um, oh, wait, hang on. One third. I got that two there. Don't forget the two. 
right? Canceled, it canceled for the first one. Um, we're canceled for that one. And then for the last one, I've got uh, c squared. c squared over, that's going to give me x squared when I multiply those. c squared over x squared times a half times, I get c squared over, over x squared. Okay. Plus, we keep going. Square this out. 1 over 9 x squared times 1 over x gives me 1 over 9 x. Okay. Cross term is going to be um, c root x over 3. And there's two of them. So 2c root x over 3 times 1 over x. And you get 2c over 3 root x. Square the last. c squared over x times 1 over x. All right, that's uh, c squared over x squared. Okay, minus 1 third x minus c over root x. And now we look to see if anything cancels. Yes. Okay, 1 third x. Oh, 2 ninths x plus 1 ninths x is 3 ninths x. That's a third, minus a third. Good. Um, and then let's see. 2, two thirds c over root x, 4 thirds c over root x, minus 1 minus, ah, 4 thirds, ah, yes. It all cancels out. We get 0. Awesome. Okay. Right. So, Verifying still can be, just, just verifying the solution can be a lot of work, right? There's, there's some algebra there, right? You've got to be careful with the chain rule. Multiply it all out, see what you get. Takes a bit of effort. Um, there's one more there on the board. I think we're, we're running out of space here, so I think we'll leave it at part B. Um, try part C on your own, and if you get stuck, the answer's in the textbook. See how it goes for you.